Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making cauliflower latkes. Look at this, you can't even tell that they're made from cauliflower. This is a collab with a great group of ladies here on YouTube. They're all doing Hanukkah content for you today. I'm gonna link it below, some really awesome stuff going on. I came up with this recipe because I have family members who eat low carb and cauliflower is a perfect potato substitute in this recipe. Also guys, it's like delicious. I, I serve this to people who aren't eating low carb. I can eat a whole plate of these. They are incredible. I grew up eating my grandma's latkes and like most nice Jewish girls I believe my grandmother's latkes are the best in the world there's no comparing them so I don't even try uh, I've tried her recipe before and it's not the same so I'm doing something completely different I'm gonna walk you through it it's like three ingredients maybe four super easy so I'm using this really awesome product from Trader Joe's. It's riced cauliflower. You need cauliflower that has been really finely chopped. Can you see that? That's the consistency you want. A lot of grocery stores are now selling, like in their produce section, pre-diced cauliflower. I love the Trader Joe's version because it's so fine. Um, that's exactly what you want. If you can't, if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you and your grocery store doesn't sell pre-riced cauliflower, just get regular cauliflower and chop it finely or you can put it in a food processor. But that consistency right there is exactly what we're going for. I'm gonna use both these bags in the recipe. So I've got a nice wide pan here with a little olive oil heating up. And I'm gonna pour my cauliflower rice right in. These are 16 ounce bags. Um, so I've got two of them. If you're using just like heads of cauliflower, I would say that it's probably about like two nice size big cauliflower heads all chopped up. Um, and so I've got a lot in here you can see and that's perfectly fine because I don't want it to like uh, brown or get any color on it. I just want it to kind of um, just be soft. I'm almost like I'm sauteing it. I'm gonna give it a stir. And I'm gonna add like a little bit of salt and some pepper, we're gonna season it up later, but just really a gentle heat. Uh, this is only gonna take like five, seven minutes. You want it to get nice and soft and a little translucent. So the cauliflower is all nice and softened, and now what I've done is I've poured it out onto this dish towel. This is like a thin tea towel, that's kind of what you want. I'm gonna let it cool down so that it's easier to handle, Then I'm basically gonna like wrap it in the dish towel and I'm gonna twist and twist and twist. I'm gonna try to get as much water out of this as possible, but like I said, it's still steaming, so I'm gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit. All right, so here I've got my cooked, drained cauliflower. I've added one egg, and to that I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper. The salt and pepper is to taste, it's really just up to you. And then, this is crucial, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of onion powder. This onion powder is what really gives it that classic latke taste. You could ground up fresh, raw onion and add that in, but this is just one less thing. And the onion powder, it really works. I added one egg, but sometimes you might need two. You're gonna mix it up, and you want like a gloopy consistency. So just kind of go with it. If you need another egg, throw it in. Uh, because I'm making this low carb, I'm not putting flour in it. If you aren't eating low carb, this is where you would eat, add about a tablespoon of flour to help everything hold together. Because I'm skipping the flour, all that means is when I form my latkes, I'm gonna have to be really gentle with them so they don't fall apart, but it'll still work. I'm gonna mix these up now. All right, and so here are my beauties frying away. I formed these with my palms. I patted them into little patties. You could just spoon them right in, little dollops. Don't worry about making it perfect. The beauty of latkes is that they are imperfect. They're all sorts of fun different shapes. Uh, and so I'm gonna fry them until they're really golden on one side and then flip them again gently because there's no flour and they're binding them. Uh, if you are watching my channel and you're not Jewish and you don't know the story behind latkes, we eat foods fried in oil, cooked in oil, to celebrate the miracle of the Maccabees oil lasting eight nights when it was supposed to last one night. And that's why Hanukkah is eight nights as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. Uh, and it has delicious food. So in just a moment, I'm gonna flip these over. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments if you plan to try this. And don't forget, Head on over and check out those other ladies. Some really wonderful Hanukkah content going on today. They're all linked below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the red subscribe button to join our community. I have a new video every day this month and starting Sunday we are gonna be doing Vlognica. I will see you guys next time, bye.